for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. And all these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure to the end the same shall be saved. This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Ladies and gentlemen, all hell is about to break loose. And I want you to see right here that this is news that you must understand. The Army has announced that the 82nd Airborne will be going to Iraq, to Kuwait. They are already going to meet the 101st Airborne Division in Iraq. That doesn't count all the hundreds and thousands of troops that we have in Europe, ladies and gentlemen. Russia, Europe, this border, Lithuania, Lativa, Poland, Belarus, Colovia, Hungary, Romania, Malovia, Bulgaria. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a wall of troops from NATO and the United States and Germany. France, Italy, Switzerland, the Czech Republic, Austria, Hungary, Romania, Poland. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a build-up that soon is going to burst. And right now we hear of wars and rumors of wars between Russia and NATO, and Russia and the United States. Russia along these borders have placed nuclear weapons and missile defense operations. And along the Polish border in Romania, the United States has built up some nuclear weapons. Where did they come from, ladies and gentlemen? Well, the ones in Romania came from Turkey. When the coup d'etat, they had the coup d'etat in Turkey. But it was a plan, a well-laid plan by the United States and NATO to cause a disruption in Turkey so that the United States nuclear weapons could be expelled. Because there's a rule that says we're not to move nuclear weapons anywhere in this European region, but because Turkey gave us a bottom line to get out. 
we were able to move our nuclear weapons from Turkey into Romania and not break world law. Russia is not happy about this. Vladimir Putin says, get out. But it's not happening. We have more and more troops lining this front line, this Western Front. Ladies and gentlemen, Belarus, well, let's start there. Ukraine, already the fighting has begun. Lithuania, Russian nuclear weapons in this little area. Ladies and gentlemen, Norway, Sweden, Finland, stockpiling weapons, moving them along the Russian border, along with NATO, preparing, preparing for something. Something is going on. Now the 82nd and 101st Airborne is here. Are they here for Syria? Or are they here for Iraq? Are they here to fly over a zone? And be dropped in a war. Ladies and gentlemen, make no mistake about it. While in our solar system, two objects approach, We, ladies and gentlemen, fear war could break out at any moment in Europe. And not only Europe, ladies and gentlemen, but in South Korea. South Korea is completely and totally in turmoil. North Korea. Kim Un Jung, Yang Jung Wang, he keeps shooting missiles because he likes to taunt people. Because he tells his people, look, they fear me. I am the most powerful man in the world. And then his people see the facts. Ladies and gentlemen, make no mistake about it, China and Japan are not fooling around. We've moved missiles into South Korea in the last few days. Missile defense systems, they say they won't be online until April or May. But ladies and gentlemen, I tell you, the minute they roll off the plane, they are ready to fire. What do they think we are, some kind of idiot, stupid joke? Like we're so stupid we can't understand that these machines are computer operated and all you gotta do is turn them on and connect to the main server and boom, they're ready to go. What do they think we're idiots? And it takes two or three months to get them in position? No, ladies and gentlemen, It doesn't catch us unaware, so we can't see it coming. China said, get them out of here, do it now. Why? Because they know they can be online in minutes. Right at the door. We're right at the door, ladies and gentlemen. Rumors of war. Nation against nation. Kingdom against kingdom. Earth. People. God's wrath. 
and you want to sit around and think you got all day. You don't have all day, ladies and gentlemen. You need to find the Lord now. Right now. I'm not talking about some space objects here. I'm talking about people who don't have any sense, ladies and gentlemen, with their hands on the triggers, staring one another down through the scopes with sweat running down their brow. Each one trying to outstare the other one until finally someone pushes the button. And then, ladies and gentlemen, all the crazy people that have nuclear weapons will want to jump into the pool. Surprises will break out on the east, surprises on the west, surprises in the south. You mean Iraq? You mean Syria? You mean Iran? You mean Turkey? You'll never know who has what, ladies and gentlemen. And then there's Israel. Israel is in the basket, ladies and gentlemen. What's going to happen? Is Jordan going to make the hit? Syria? Hamas? I don't care who it is, whoever it is, they better hit hard and fast. Because Benjamin Netanyahu, ladies and gentlemen, is not going to wait to squeeze the trigger. You see? War. And rumors of wars, pestilences, new superbugs, superbugs all over the world, a new kind of bird flu, and now the bird flu's in the United States because of some stupid chickens. They put them in the chickens and they got the chickens over here. You go to the store and buy you some Tyson chicken, you just do it. Maybe you'll be the first one on the national news to say that I brought the bug to the United States. Radiation poisoning. Radiation poisoning in Norway. Radiation poisoning in, in Iceland. Radiation poisoning in Antarctica. Radiation poisoning in Fukushima. Fukushima's destroying the Pacific Ocean right in front of your eyes. 300 tons of nuclear inundated water every day since 2011. Morphodited animals, dead porpoises, dead whales, dead fish, dead stingarays, dead jellyfish, dead animals, birds crashing fish dying it's all around you ladies and gentlemen signs signs ladies and gentlemen pestilences and then there's famines Africa Africa is in one of its worst famines in history but this time it's caused by people holding back to food. It's not a drought, ladies and gentlemen. It's human beings. Hate, extreme hate. The Bible says hate in the end times. <laughs> hate, hate, hate. I hate your brother. I hate your mother. I hate, I hate, I hate. You I hate everybody, I hate me, I hate. Everybody hates everybody, ladies and gentlemen. And the church, the church is fighting a battle. They're fighting a battle trying to raise freedom, raise peace, raise hope, raise love. 
having seminars, having messages six weeks in a row, nine weeks in a row, redeeming the times. You can do a great seminar on redeeming the time, but if nobody gets their butt out of the pew, ladies and gentlemen, you ain't did nothing. It takes an effort, it takes work. You can't sit around and watch YouTube all day and to go to work, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody has to tell somebody. But then, in these days that we're in today, it's different. Years ago, I used to witness on the streets, and it wasn't like it is now. Back then, you could witness on the streets, and people would come to be saved, to hear the message. But today, ladies and gentlemen, today, if you pack up and go on the streets, you're going to be alone. Nobody's going to come help you. And then what is going to happen? Maybe you have to get a concealed weapon license before you can go hand out tracks. Because this world hates, 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 hates you. They don't want to hear about Jesus. They don't want to hear about God. They're not into God and Jesus. They're into themselves, into themselves, grumbling and growling to get more. And how their brother is shoving them to the floor. And how they're oppressed by other races. <sighs> It's continued hate. And over in Europe, there's a frontline building. Nobody cares. Nobody knows. It's not on the national news. What will you do? You say end times four, five, six, five years. You sound so mean. I'm not mean, ladies and gentlemen. I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted with the church. I'm disgusted with preachers. I'm disgusted because nobody wants to make a move because they're afraid or they don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. Feelings? Man, I don't care nothing about the feelings. It's their soul. The Bible says, fear not the one that can kill the body and not the soul, but fear the one that can kill the body and the soul. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to talk about this anymore. I'm beside myself. Sometimes I feel like I'm just beating the wind. You must, you must, you must make an effort. Religious tracks are almost free, ladies and gentlemen. Shoot me an email, I'll send you some. Put it in the comments below. Make it happen. Jesus is coming again. People are dying every day and going to hell and we're sitting around looking at ourselves in the mirror wondering, do I look good enough for success? Or we're looking in the mirror and we're saying, I'm so oppressed, I can't make a move. You're looking for drugs. You're trying to find a way to escape. And there's no escape, ladies and gentlemen. It's only death and nothing you can do to fix it except to come to Jesus Christ. He will fix it for you. Gang members can't fix it. Homies can't fix it. The preacher can't fix it. The police can't fix it. Only Jesus can fix it. Wars and rumors of wars. Famines. Earthquakes in diverse places. I don't 
need to tell you that. You can go right now and see all the earthquakes in all the world. In diverse places. Everywhere. And they're growing in intensity. What will you do? Wars and rumors of wars, ladies and gentlemen. Be ready. Because time is running out in this world. Soon. Soon. Nothing left. No place to hide. You think your tunnel in the ground is going to save you, bunker? Your bunker? You're going to get into your big bunker, yeah. You know what the Bible says about your big bunker, buddy? The Bible says that they hid themselves in the earth and in the rocks and cried out, save us. Cried to the mountains, fall on us and save us from the one that is coming. the one that is good.